Hey cousins, welcome back to my channel. So I looked all over YouTube and I couldn't find one video that showed how to apply, but not only remove your wig tape without damaging your edges and preserving your hair. So if you're interested in my lace wig tape routine, stay tuned. So starting here, you guys can see I've already removed one side of my unit. The tape is still on my skin, but I will show you guys how to remove that later. But as you can see, the tape was in front of my hairline and on the other side, the unit is completely intact. So I'm going to show you guys how I remove it, but I just wanted to know I really could have worn it longer if I wanted to. So super important, you want to make sure that you use 91% alcohol. Um, that's the only alcohol that they recommend that you use. I don't really know why, but I do know that I tried to use 50% alcohol before purchasing the 91% and um, it really didn't stick very well. So you do want to make sure that you're using 91% alcohol only. Next, I am just using the cosmetic wedges that you can get out of Walmart or even the Dollar Tree. And I like using these because it soaks up the alcohol and it allows me to have a little bit more control where I put the alcohol. So now I'm going to take that wedge and just start to apply it directly to the hairline, taking my time and letting the lace lift where it naturally wants to lift. And if it doesn't want to lift, I'll just take a little bit more alcohol and just gently, very gently lift it as it wants to lift. You want to be super gentle as you're removing this lace unit. One, because you know, you spent a lot of money on your unit. Units are investments and you don't want to tear your lace, but most importantly, you want to be really gentle with your natural hair just in case you know the tape got on any of your natural hair so after about five minutes I was able to get the unit and lift it completely off I'm gonna put it to the side for now and then I'm gonna take some extra virgin olive oil and apply that directly to the tape and massage it in and gently as it wants to again just have some patience with this um, it's gonna be a process so make sure if you're taking this unit down that you have time to really take your time with it I'm just gonna massage it in and as the tape naturally wants to lift and roll off you'll see it'll just gently begin to slide off of your skin so now I'm just going to roll back my wig cap so that you guys can see um, that my edges are still intact. What I like to do is form a gel cast and completely gel my edges back. So now what I'm going to do is kind of let it act as a hot oil treatment and I'm going to pull my edges forward so that you guys can see that my edges are still intact. So I have a really weird hairline like the size of my hairline comes they come extremely far forward so it seems like the other sides of my hairline um, is very thin but it's just that I have a very uneven hairline I have my whole life I can show you guys baby pictures this is what the unit looks like um, immediately after I removed it and as you can see all of it lifted completely except for a small little piece of tape and if you want to remove that or if that happens all you have to do is take a little more of the 91% alcohol and apply directly to your lace unit and that tape will lift right up it literally took me like 60 seconds So this is what the unit looks like and it's ready for me to co-wash and deep condition and prepare for reinstall. So I'm just going to run some errands but I did pull my edges out to show you guys that I have plenty of edges. All my edges remained intact and they you know are still flourishing baby. Um, so I just <laughs> pulled them out so I could run some errands. Now that I'm back, um, this is a very important step for me just to make sure that I preserve the health of my edges and my natural hair. I'm going to take some water and I'm going to smooth the edges right back into that gel cast so that I can put it underneath a wig cap. 
For this, I like to use an extreme hold gel. I like to use the Gorilla Snot Gel because it has a firm hold and I am just gonna take this and apply, apply it. I'm gonna apply it all over my hairline and let that dry so that it stays in place. Also, a major key. There's a lot of major keys in these steps, guys. You wanna take that same 91% alcohol and clean the surface area really good. Especially if you have oily skin like me, making sure that you have a clean and dry starting point is gonna really make sure that the tape adheres nicely and make sure that you get as much longevity out of this style that you want. So now my unit has been deep conditioned and it looks all shiny and nice. So this is what one strip of tape looks like. And again, another major key. <laughs> I know it's a lot of major keys, but when you take this tape, and this is gonna be very important because the first time that I did this, I did it wrong and I completely fell at this installation. The first time I did this, I turned the tape horizontal and then I cut down the center where the lines are horizontally down. What you actually want to do is turn the tape vertical and then cut horizontally through one strip of perforated tape. This way you're cutting straight through the opening and you'll see why this is super important next. If you've cut it correctly, once you start to apply it, it's going to look something like this. It'll have the tape that's cut and then you'll have an opening right in the center that you'll be able to pull the white paper off. And if you have like a weird hairline like me, you'll have like little small pieces on the side there just to kind of mold to your hairline. Now you want to take some tweezers and right at the opening that I said you should have, you'll be able to lift the tape directly up. You don't want to use your fingers, make sure that you use tweezers. And if you've done it correctly, once you lift the white part up, the tape should be clear and not cloudy. After you've removed all the white pieces off of the tape, go ahead and line your unit up. This unit is a little big for me. The frontal is a little big, so I will show you guys how I fix that later. But for now, I always start in the very center. And then when you start to apply the unit onto the tape, you wanna make sure that you apply the lace completely over the tape. So you don't want any of the tape sticking out in front of the lace because if you do, of course that tape will start sticking to things, it'll stick to your hair, it'll stick to makeup, it'll get nasty. So um, I've done that because I'm a beginner, so you know we all have to work on it, but you just wanna make sure, do your very best that you don't have any of the tape exposed. And so you just wanna go in and line it up and you'll just continuously lay your lace on top of the tape. And then you'll go in and just apply pressure, making sure that all the lace is touching the tape. And as you can see here, um, the front, like I said, was a little big, so I had to go in with a little bit more tape and get it to lay down. So the last major key <laughs> in applying your unit with tape is going in with a blow dryer on cool setting and blow drying over your hairline. Just like you would with the Got To Be Glued or the Gorilla Snot Gel, um, you wanna make sure that you are setting the adhesive, so letting it dry, you wanna make sure that it's on cool setting. And this is just really gonna help you get that longevity out of this hairstyle. So these are the final results. This is what it looks like after I have completely installed the unit. It looks very natural and I really like the way that it turned out and I know that I'm gonna get at least a week, if not more, if I want it out of the style. I do use foundation to blend my lace. I don't like to bleach my knots. I go ahead and use foundation the same color my skin because I found that bleaching the knots causes my unit to shed. 
So this last step is completely optional, but I like to go in with Gorilla Snot Gel and something that's a really hard, firm gel and lay my baby hairs down. I like to do it with a very firm gel because the next morning I go in with that same toothbrush and water and break the gel cast and it lets my baby hairs just lay very soft and natural looking and it doesn't have like this hard little crunchy look like it does right now. So if you want to see like what it looks like when it's not crunchy, make sure that you visit my Instagram and you guys will see what I'm talking about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already a cousin. And share this video with somebody you think it'll help. I'll see you in the next video.